Let's next take a look at mesh quality and to do that I will uh, highlight mesh in the tree and under statistics by default you will see that none is selected so go here and you can see there are lots of um, metrics of mesh quality that you can look at uh, one that's often looked at is skewness so let's take a look at that um, and it shows me the skewness distribution of my um, of my mesh so the skewness can go from 0 to 1 so I have elements that go from a skewness of 0 to a skewness of about 0 0.63 and to see the elements that are least skewed click on this bar here and ANSYS highlights those elements uh, let me turn off the ruler here so I'll say view ruler so I got rid of the ruler and if I zoom in here uh, I can see I mean I can manipulate it and look at it and it's like oh okay these are nice boxy elements uh, and that th these give you the best accuracy in contrast let's look at the most skewed elements um, and so I'll go and click the bar where you know corresponding to the most skewness and if I zoom in uh, especially in my region of concern um, you can see you know those elements are kind of um, highly are skewed and that will degrade the accuracy of the uh, of the interpolation and particularly the stress distribution that you get in those areas and to see you know what level of skewness to um, to uh, target let's take a look at uh, the help page on skewness so go to help mechanical help and you can search for skewness you can see I already did that and um, if you hit enter and pick this hit skewness under global mesh controls and it brings up a discussion of skewness and it shows you know for a quadrilateral this is the least skewed this is a very skewed element and it says um, if you want good elements you should target the skewness of less than 0.5 um, and you can look at this page it has details on you know the skewness and so on so these elements might be elements of concern um, and especially when I'm doing the mesh refinement I, I need to go and take a closer look at the skewness and you have uh, settings under mesh advanced that you can play with in terms of um, you know in terms of reducing the skewness and so on so <clears throat> so let me select all elements so I can click anywhere away from the bars and it'll select all elements let me pin this let me go back to uh, fit to view let me get my isometric view and save the project